I don't think these are grooves you want to bring to your top 40 band. I don't even think that was a groove, but... Uh, <laughs> What I did is, we'll have a click, and I programmed uh, what I'd like to refer as like an anchor point, something I like to do rhythmically. I like to take a, like a hit off of, off of a pulse and kind of like play in between it, but keep referring to coming back to that hit. So many times I'll do this without physically programming what that hit is, but in this case, I wanted to program it so that you can all hear the hit that I'm trying to get back to each time. And in between those uh, times of that hit, I'm still very mindful of a chord note pulse, but it's not gonna necessarily sound like I'm gritting everything up perfectly to it. But I'm always gonna, you know, the goal and what I'm about to do is to try to get back to that anchored hit. So in this case, let's listen to what the anchored hit is. So that happens to be on the last 16th of one, one and a, right? So you got one, three, four. Okay, so these days I, I find it much easier for me to like play loosely around time than to perfectly nail time, uh, which is kind of why I started it many, many years ago. I felt it was kind of easier to achieve this than to like make sure every subdivision was perfect all the time. So I decided to get more abstract. And little by little, guys were telling me, man, how do you do that? That's really cool, it's really cool. And I was like, oh, maybe this is worth uh, continuing to do and uh, keep doing it. And what came out of like, you know, necessity or, you know, just like out of a panic of, hey, I don't have to play in time anymore, became a style that, people kind of like associate with a lot of the things they do. So what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to stay more on uh, playing subdivisions at first that are more common, and then I'm gonna start loosening this up little by little, but still trying to nail that hit on the E of, uh, on the one E and up, on the last 16th of one, as much as I can, okay? So here we go. So in my head is a quarter note pulse, which you're hearing as a click track, and uh, wanting to get back to that hit. Now, this is not the most musical example because the hit's coming up so quickly and so often, but I just wanted to show you what I'm thinking in those things. So if we're imagining that hit, one, two, three, four. So I might play grooves that kind of sound like there's a lot of stuff that's really like nowhere near even and nowhere near, you know, a gridded up subdivision, but you might hear like one anchor point that to me sets the reference up. So if I was just going to go, you know, one, two, three, four. hat hopefully if I did it correctly is in the right place every time okay so all right again I don't think these are grooves you want to bring to your top 40 band I don't even think that was a groove but uh, I've, that's kind of the approach I take when I try to place things like this. And when there's other music going around and, and there's a give and take and there's uh, context, it makes it a lot easier to fall into something that actually kind of can sort of be a borderline groove. You know, this is more for exercise purposes, okay?